Hello, and welcome back to Sandy Bay. Right, so in this episode, it's following on from when we did the sugar beets. Uh, pretty much now, at this time of year, we're just getting ready for winter time. There's not much we can do um, work-wise, you know, in the fields like planting or anything like that. So we're just going to be doing probably a bit of ploughing, um, getting ready for some of these fields. Looking at the fields itself, I've cultivated quite a lot of them, actually. So a lot of them are ready for, for next year. 34 still needs to be cultivated and obviously spread lime on. Same with 33. Whereas 32, 30 and 31 will need ploughing off. 31 isn't um, in the same stage as what these two were that they had sugar beet in as well. The main reasons for that is I was playing around in that field and I was going to try and get like some kind of extended area to the farm. But in the end it just didn't look right for me so I turned it back into grass. Um, so it still needs ploughing, that does. Um, yeah, there's also some work to do with the cows, some manure that I need to get rid of and obviously feed them and all that stuff, so we'll do that first. I'm going to use a subsoiler and then I, all I need to do really after that is pretty much so for next harvest, which we'll do probably springtime when the temperature comes back up. Also, I've got so much manure, I need to find a way of uh, getting rid of that. There is a few fields that need probably some kind of you know fertilizing on so we can do 25 26 27 these these five here really even field 10 so there is a few fields and then over the winter you never know we could spread a bit more on the fields that are actually going to be arable in the end but yeah we definitely got a lot of manure that i need to get rid of that's stacked up and also i've got some in here and this trailer is pretty much full so yeah we definitely need to get rid of some manure right so what i'll do We'll crack on with all the work around the farm with the animals and we'll get that done first. So we'll jump in the telehandler. Glass one. And we'll start scooping up some of this manure. Now I've got to try and drive over this now. There we go. And the amount of manure I've got over there, I don't even know where I should store anymore. And this is now full, so I'm going to have to do something about that. I mean, I might be able to get a bit more in there. I might have to start storing it maybe in the corner of this field. I think I'll do that. Also, we're actually going to get a lot more manure soon. Um, as soon as these cows have had the calves, and it's only going to get worse. There's a lot of them. In fact, there's a hell of a lot of them in calves, so... We'll definitely need to find a way of getting rid of this manure quicker. We could sell it at the BGA and get some money. That's always an option. Uh, but I think while we've got it, we may as well you know, start spreading it because the good thing about slurry is it can sit in a tank and it doesn't really take up any space while it's in there until it gets full obviously but because when you give straw to your cows that's all you produce anyway is manure so you pretty much become stacked on it um, and it's really important that you find the time and consistency to get rid of it on the fields so that'll be definitely our next job See if we can shift a lot of it. And with it being a six day season that I'm doing, as well, you obviously get a lot more um, manure at one go to take care of because you know, it's even worse at three days or anything like that. But if you go down to nine to 12, um, it's not too bad. You keep on top of it quite a bit, but when you're at six, if you're not getting rid of the manure regularly, it builds up a lot. Alright, 
right, so that's that done. That's the manure sorted out. So we'll just park this up here and then I'll move the tractor forward again. Uh, the New Holland. Get that out of the way. Right, so we'll get the brush out and we'll start sweeping up. I have actually got quite a lot of TMR already mixed up. Um, and that's sitting in the mixer. So we shouldn't have to make any more. I have actually got a lot of TMR as well on the ground. Um, but before the update came out for the Maze Plus silage, I don't know, I used to tip it out if I'd saved the game because I, I found that it was, you know, it, we were losing it basically um, every time it would be empty. So I've had to tip it out. But since that point, obviously they fixed that. That problem isn't there anymore. Um, so now I've got a load sitting on the floor there that I need to somehow fit into the mixer as soon as we've emptied a bit more. But hopefully soon as well they'll start producing the milk. And we can't be too far off now. We've got one that's there, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 years, so a lot of them are close, 0 0.2, 0 0.3s. But look how many are in calf, we're going to get a hell of a lot. We're going to close to doubling. I'm probably going to get another 100 cows. So yeah, this will be um, a big herd. Hopefully we'll be picking up a lot of money from milk eventually. You know, in the, within four months time, probably around five months max, every cow is pretty much going to be producing milk for me. Um, so yeah, nice. So yeah, we cleaned up, that's that. Water and straw is done, that's when we just need to feed the cows. There's some hay bales there, so if we need to send some hay over we can do that. So we'll just hook it up now to the feed mixer. While we've got the chance, we'll scoop that in. So we'll part this up, I'll just give them a few hay bales, and then the jobs are good. Close up 
close the cover. Take some clover hay. Get some of some of this at the of the front. Alright, let's see where we're at. Perfect. Nice and happy all fall, all in the green. Can't go wrong with that. Right, we'll get on with the subsoiling. So we're going to use the fence, just because of the fact it's the most powerful tractor. Um, should we put a front weight on? I'll quickly go and get a front weight and then I'll cut back in. Right, so there's a front weight on. So we'll start with field 32 and then we'll move over to field 31. Right, so what I'll do is I'll speed it on up.
Okay, so that's that done. Um, that went really well in the end, actually. It wasn't too difficult at all. The subsoiler did well. I ended up needing to lease out uh, a plough for field 31. Uh, I realised as I just got into the field that I can't obviously create a field um, without a plough. Uh, and with me using the terrain tool on field, field 31, um, when I was trying to turn it into like a, an extended area to the farm, Obviously, I need to then create the field back, so I needed the plough for that, so I leased it out, went got it, did that, went for a 4 meter one, so that flew for it. So that's pretty much all the fields done. So next up, we'll probably be doing some manure spreading. We really need to get rid of some of the manure. Um, yeah, we need to try and shift some muck, um, and then probably we'll do something with field 33 and 34. We'll get rid of the areas around the side that need ploughing, and then we'll be spreading lime in all these fields. Uh, we'll probably do that over winter, shouldn't be too bad as long as the ground's not frozen, we'll see how it is early winter. But yeah, that's everything done, so I'm going to end the video there, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, I appreciate that every time, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on Farming Simulator.
see you.